What is poppin' in my chop of my Bagel Bites? It is Mr. Bagel Bites here, bringing another VGC team video. And in this one, we have a team that was heavily inspired by Juan Nar's uh, top cut. I think he took fourth place, if I'm not mistaken, in the Players' Cup 2 tournament featuring Rain. But then also featuring a little uh, take from BP Gamer featuring a special Dragonite with weakness policy. Which I kind of want to show off that has like Hurricane, Thunder, a lot of cool moves. But definitely the majority of the team is very inspired by Juan Nar. I love Rain, and I think he made a really solid, really cool team. And I'm hoping to kind of get to show that off in this game. And I definitely feel like I could. <laughs> Whew. The Mammoth Swine is kind of a threat, but I kind of want to leave the Dragonite anyway. It's actually multi-scale instead of um, Inner Focus, since we're special. So I think I am actually going to lead Politoed with Dragonite here to try and get that off and see what we can do with Kingdra in the back, since he only has one fairy type, and it's, um, Tapu Fini. Yeah. And then I think Entei in the back is the last Mon, because Entei matches up pretty well against, like, three of these. Or is it Celesteela better? I think, I think Entei's probably better. I don't see any electric moves, so I don't feel as inclined to bring Raichu, even though I think it could do a lot of work here. I feel pretty good about this. The thing is, too, we don't even have the Dynamax, the the um dragonite because it has decent special attack on its own with multi-scale we don't necessarily need the double health so that might come into play here he's actually going with the moltres okay so we'll leave polytoed here we'll set the rain so he was trying to i don't know i don't know what he's going for here i'm gonna be honest but we'll see what we can do so we definitely get to show off Dragonite here. I think I'm personally just going to leave uh, Ice Beam into the Tornadus here. And maybe go for, like, Max Lightning. Um, oh man, they're so strong, too. They're all 140 base moves, since they're going off strong moves. Ice Beam's probably going to about pick up the KO. So maybe it's better, like, Airstream here, pick up some solid damage into Moltres. Actually, kind of don't mind that attacking Moltres here. Yeah, so da Dragonite's gonna get Dynamaxed here. Gonna get a lot of health. He shouldn't have anything great to hit us with super effectively. If he does, he's gonna proc our weakness policy. Lots of just cool things. I really love Dragonite and think it... It's getting... Okay, for a second I thought I didn't candy and I about got really scared. <laughs> Nothing scarier than just not candying. Okay, he is actually Dynamaxing too. Dragonite's pretty bulky, though. He shouldn't have anything to hit us great with. And with multi-scale, we can take about any attack really well. And the next turn, we can potentially focus down the Moltres. Does he just Tailwind here? I don't know. I love I love Dynamax, uh, or Galarian Moltres, rather. Yeah, he's just Tailwinding, which I'm kind of fine with. Because we don't necessarily need the speed control right here. He's actually airstreaming. Probably going into the paw. Nope, it's going into the Dragonite. Who's going to take that in spades. Super fine with that damage there. We get a speed buff, but... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> and so we will retaliate in return here. Dealing about the same amount of damage, if I'm going to be honest. But that's about the damage I expected unboosted. So now this turn... We can go ahead and target here. Polito should take it to the Sash. Not quite, actually. Even though we're Specs. I'm going to double up here into the Moltres since we did damage there. Let's go for that. And then Max the Lightning into Moltres as well. I think the Max Thunder should put it in range. He definitely thinks we're going to double up into Tornadus this turn. We don't take that quite as well. Maybe he's got Icy Wind. A quad effective Icy Wind could do a lot of damage. But we'll have to see. Yes, he does. It's going to do a ton. But it's going to proc our weakness policy, too, so we might actually just pick up the KO with, uh, with the Max Thunder. And that would be huge for us. Let's see. Let's see how we do. You didn't see this coming, I'm sure. <laughs> you never see it come, man. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and set the terrain there as well, which is kind of nice. So I don't think he had anything to do sleep, but if he did, it's certainly not happening now. There we go. And then Ice Beam should finish the job here. 
Palito. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Okay. So we have a good lead right now. We're plus... No, actually he neutralized our speed with that Icy Wind. So we just have the advantage of having four Pokemon in one turn of Dynamax left. But I'm kind of fine with that. He has Tailwind, but like... So he's going to overwrite our terrain here, which is fine. And Tapu Fini. I think we expected Tapu Fini, though. If we can outlast the Tailwind, we're going to be in such a solid position, though. Oh, he gets rid of his Grassy... Oh, because... Okay, so Fini's... Uh, Fini's slow. Okay. Slower than the Rillaboom, so it's probably max speed Rillaboom. I might swap Toad here, honestly. Because it's going to hit by a Grass move, so Entei, I think, can take that. Um, I think I'm going to leave Dragonite in. And just go for max Lightning into the Fini. If we get it, we get it. But the reason I'm swapping here is because we can either reset Weather... Or just, like, neutralize the grass move that Rillaboom's definitely going to go for this turn. And I think Entei's fine to come into either attack. As long as it's not a water move, which he shouldn't go for. I guess he could. But we'll have to see. Fake out coming out here. Is he doubling up? What? Oh, he didn't have priority, so he thinks we're going to get... We're going to outspeed him. Well, that's a mistake. <laughs> You never see it coming. <laughs> Ooh, not quite enough to pick up the KO, though. But it does put it in extreme speed range if there's no berry. Wow. Did he forget he has Tailwind? Oh, he did have berry. I don't know if it'll be in KO range now. Probably not. Not since it's a wiki. If it was Citrus, I think we'd be okay, honestly. Alright. One turn of Tailwind? And one turn of rain? Two turns... Oh! Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. One turn of Tailwind. Sweet. So I'm actually going to protect here. Um, let Dragonite go down and go for a Hurricane into Rillaboom. If we get it, we get it. We also can't be Inner Focus, which is... Or, we can't be flinched from Inner Focus, which is pretty nice. Oh, sick. Please target, like, Scald or Muddy Water. Please miss Dragonite. Please miss Dragonite. Make my day. No! Dragonite did work. It's okay. You put in a lot of work, Dragonite. You did a great job. Also, can we hit a like spike on this video? 30, 35 likes on the video. That would be huge. Do it because you love me. Kingur can swap in now with one turn left of uh, Dynamax. Or one turn left of Rain, which we can swap Entei out for. So we maintain speed advantage since they don't have Tailwind. Huge! Um, I'm going to go for Stone Edge into Feeny. And I'm going to go for Hurricane into Rillaboom. Because it's 100% accurate in the rain. Connect. Huge. Huge. If Stone Edge connects, uh, that should be game, I imagine. If not, we have Politoed, which should be good. We miss. I'm fine with that. Yeah, go ahead and... Hey, Entei avoids it. So we're going to resist this. Sweet. Sick. Can you take like two damage from that? Okay. Um, I'm kind of fine with hitting it with non-effective. No, I'm just gonna hit like extreme speed. I'll stay in. Extreme speed and uh, is Hurricane more? They're both 80, aren't they? Oh no, one's actually 70. Um, I'll go for Hurricane. I'll take the 10 less accurate for neutral damage. We win either way, and he probably surrenders here. He actually doesn't. Huge. Got a two-hit KO. Fine with that. He connects again. I think Entei probably lives this since it's split damage, even though it's plus one. Yeah. Entei's pretty bulky. No, no drops? No drops? No drops. Sweet. We'll connect out of the rain. <laughs> Sick. Oh! I mean, we went with extreme speed, but that's closer than I wanted it to be. I'll swap here so he doesn't get the KO. <laughs> um, no, it's just for time. Never mind. No, it's... Yeah, we don't want to... We don't want to swap. Well, we get speed, so we get it anyway, but I... It, I'll do it for time's sake. There's no reason to swap. There's literally no reason. It just extends the time. Good job, Ente. Yeah! <laughs> it's fun team. 35 likes on the video. Let's do it, boys. Can we do it? I think we can. I believe in you guys. You guys are beautiful and amazing, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you're excited for a second video, or a second video, yeah, second battle on the video, keep smashing that like button. If it's blue, 
it means it's it's good red is bad we're just down is it white now did they change how that works i think they i think they changed it hey we get some master ball ribbons gang gang let's go but yeah blue is good let's do blue blue for rain because we're running rain team and with that we're gonna switch up the music what sounds the most watery you know what mustard sounds pretty watery mustard too <laughs> if you have if you have watery mustard i'm sorry it's a bad day it's like when you uh, it's like when you take the ketchup bottle and the first little bit is just like the sad wet like water ketchup and it's just like ruins whatever you're trying to like put the ketchup on terrible day terrible day i hope you don't have that happen this is an interesting team is it running stack attacka just to have it or does it actually have a purpose because this isn't a slow team by any means maybe it's to reset trick room this team feels pretty weak to rain i'm not gonna lie like what's he do against like kingra here i guess if he sends in like Whimsicott. Lele? Excuse me. Whimsicott Lele feels kind of strong. Actually, I think I'm going to leave Politoed Dragonite again. Because he's going to expect the Kingra. He's still going to think he has advantage because he has Lele, probably. And probably try and get speed advantage off that. Dragonite will get his weakness policy boost plus multi scale, which nobody expects because everyone's just running inner focus Dragonite. So I think we'll have advantage there. And then Celesteela in the back, because what's he do to Celesteela? I'm going to be honest, he does not really have an answer besides the Rotom. Yeah, I think the Rotom's it. Which Dragonite should beat Rotom. The last slot can either go to Entei or Kingdra. Uh, Entei beats, like, two of these, kind of. It's a little awkward of a matchup. I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Entei. I think I think Entei's really good, plus it could be an answer to try and stop Trick Room if he if he has it. Or not Trick Room per se, but to stop the Trick Room Mon, because we have a Shucka Berry. So we can hit that with a nice big sacred fire, possibly being our Dynamax candidate. Entei's pretty good. I really need to watch more of Juan Nar's battles. I think he's I think that his team is super cool. Okay, he does lead exactly what I thought he would. So we have an advantage in that regard. Man, these Pokemon are sold. I wish I had better Pokeballs for them. Other than the actual Pokeball on these two. But I think I got these... This, this was a while ago. So we got Rain. I mean, I feel like he just sets Tailwind, honestly. Tailwind and, like, Moonblast Dragonite. So I kind of feel... Oh, yeah, not Dynamax. Um, I kind of feel like I want to, like, Muddy Water... Muddy Water Airstream here and try and pick up the KO, but I also want to double up in. So I think I'm going to go for Scald for accuracy. Target down Lele. And... We get rid of Terrain, too. I feel like Max Lightning for the next turn. No, I'm going to go for Airstream for damage, because it's stab damage. Coming off a base 140 move, that's huge. We're going to Dynamax here. I don't think he Dynamaxes in this uh, with Lele. If he does, this is going to be like the first Dynamax Lele I've seen. If anyone has any cool ideas for Tapu Lele, let me know. It used to be like such like, probably my second favorite of the of the Tapus. Um, but it's kind of just fallen off. And like it's, it's an obscure Pokemon, I think, right now. I think he's doing exactly what I thought he would do. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam instead of Moonblast, so I'm even more okay with that. <laughs> Predicted. Sweet. Ooh, and it's Life Orb, so it's going to take even more damage? Sick. <laughs> so we get a speed buff here. Which means Dragonite might outspeed some of the... Um, some of the... Uh, slower Tailwind threats, even though they have Tailwind up. We'll also break the Sash here, almost KOing Whimsicott. Get burn? No burn. Plus they don't have priority. Ooh, this is good because I set the Psychic Train. It's actually Rotom. That's terrible for us. Um, we're stuck with Scald. I'll go for another Scald to try and pick up the KO on Whimsicott. That's pretty fine. Um... He's going to resist Airstream. We go for Max Lightning. 
Max Flare doesn't really net us anything. We don't really want to get rid of our weather. Max Wormwind Stab, though. Lowering Attack doesn't matter. It could have Ally Switch, though. Right? Does Rodom get Ally Switch? I don't think it does. I'm going for Wormwind. I'll risk it. We had a huge turn one there, so I'm, I'm fine to risk it, actually. He's not doing it anyway. He's Dynamaxing. Is that a fastball? Yes, it is. I feel really geeked after that first battle. I'm not going to lie, so I'm feeling pretty jazzed right now. Ooh. I wonder... I match up pretty poorly against Rotom. Well, actually, no. Dragonite is kind of fine with anything Rotom has against it, isn't he? Helping hand. So he might bot boot beep the Politoed? This is probably going to Dragonite. Okay, this is helping handed, but we're going to take neutral damage from it. Super fine. And we should pick up the KO on the um, on the, on the uh, Whimsicott this turn as well. Let's see how much this Wormwind does. It's plus two. Solid. Solid. And we pick up the KO on Whimsicott, so we're at an advantage. The attack drop doesn't matter at all. Ooh, we revealed Barry. That's unfortunate. Um, I think that's still in range of another one if we if we get another attack off. Without helping hand, we might pick up the KO still. Because it won't be boosted next turn. Whimsicott going down. That's huge. So Lele, Whimsicott, half-dead Rotom. What is your last Pokemon? Urshifu. Okay. Urshifu's really good. Do we want to stay on with Politoed? Or do we want to swap to Celesteela? What are the chances that he attacks here? Um, he could really drop a Max Lightning on Celesteel, and that would be really bad. I guess I don't necessarily need Rain at this point, so Politoed going down isn't like the worst thing that could happen. I'm kind of fine with going for another Scald here. Scald into here, and then Worm Wind into here again. We might lose two Pokemon. He's Wicked Blowing there. That sucks. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't swap into Celesteel. I thought that might happen. I knew it was going to be close, but... I'd I rather take the chance there. Yeah, we're going to hit with Max Lightning, which should pick up the KO on Politoed. Yeah. Spring's kind of helping him here now. Here, So here's actually where I probably should have brought um, Raichu, even though I didn't think I needed it. Just because now, like, Rotom's gonna kind of steamroll where I didn't... If he didn't have Helping Hand, I think we would have been fine there, actually. He has one turn left of Tailwind? Yeah. So we could actually double protect here. Actually, ooh. What do I think he actually attacks here? Because one of them's gonna... They're both gonna get through because Wicked Blow. But which one is going to be into the Entei? Entei's probably gonna take the Water Attack. So I think it's better to, like, protect here. And Leech Seed Rotom. I think if we predict it this way... Well, actually, there's no way he doesn't attack Celesteel with Electric Move. I take it back. I'm going to go ahead and launch Sacred Fire, even though it's, uh, it's to try and get the burn here. And I'm going to protect uh, Celesteela. Okay, yeah, because there's no way this doesn't get hit with Max Lightning. Unless he over-predicts in. Because this is going to go into Entei, right? I am so wrong. Unless he doubles up into Celesteela. No. Actually, yeah, I overpredicted that. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. I had it right the first time. I should have listened to my instincts. I'm surprised that Wicked Blow did so much damage. That has to be banded, right? Yeah, he loses Dynamax here. Here's where we should have brought uh, Raichu for sure. Just because now we're like in a really bad... Well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered because he did a lot of damage there. We'll, we'll fire the Leech Seed off anyway. If he for some reason just throws and doesn't like use it again. <laughs> Dude, Dragonite, you did so good though. Okay. Does it do more damage if it goes through Protect or does it just go through Protect? Like, is that how that works? Oh, we're at 20 minutes. I'll... 
I'll go ahead and call it on this one and then try and get another one recorded for the next day just because I'm running out of time today. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. That's super appreciate it. We're trying to hit 1,800 by uh, the end of January. I don't think it's a feasible goal by the end of December, but prove me wrong. I'd be super appreciative. It's the season of giving. And the only thing you have to give is the hit of that subscribe button. So I hope you do. But thank you guys so much, seriously. And as always, catch you later.